Well, call me crazy, but I put a $250 set of pickups into a $120 guitar, and I think it turned out pretty good. So as you've already probably figured out from the title and the thumbnail of this video, and as you've heard in the intro, we're talking about Lambertone's The Blondie set of pickups. So if you're familiar with Lambertone's, you know they're really popular in the worship guitar community. Their sort of flagship pickup set is the humbuckers. They have the Crimas, which is a low output humbucker. They have the Grinders, which is a more high output set. They have the Ristrettos, which is a P90. They have the Lambertrons, which is a Filtertron. And then of course they have the Blondies, which we're talking about here today, and that is the Telecaster set. So with the Blondies, the bridge pickup is supposed to be slightly overwound. The neck pickup is supposed to be voiced a little bit brighter than your typical Telecaster neck pickup. This was a particular interest to me because I felt like the existing neck pickup in my Telecaster was a bit dark and I wanted something that was more Strat-like. So why Tex-Mex? Why are we comparing these two sets of pickups? Well, the Tex-Mex set is the set I had previously in my Telecaster, and so it only made sense that if I was going to do a comparison video, it would be with these two sets of pickups. And as I'm sure you're well aware, pickups are not easy to test drive. You can't just go down to your local guitar store and try out five different sets to decide on what you like. You really have to depend on YouTube, for example, for sound demonstrations and comparisons. Speaking of which, if you're interested, I do have a couple of other Telecaster pickup comparison videos. One is comparing Tex-Mex pickups to Bill Lawrence Keystone pickups. The other, conversely, is comparing Tex-Mex pickups to a set of Fender Mexican ceramic pickups. If you want to watch those, you can click up here and it'll take you to those videos. And while we're on the topic of ceramic pickups, the original pickups that came in this $120 guitar that we're discussing here today were ceramic. And that guitar, by the way, is a Glary GTL Semi Hollow. It's essentially a thin line knockoff. They sent me the guitar to try out, and if you want to watch the full review of the original guitar, again, you can click up here and it'll take you to that video. I was really impressed with the stock guitar, but I couldn't leave well enough alone and I had to make some modifications. Now, if you've been keeping up with the series or the playlist and the modifications I've been making to this guitar, I have to apologize. You've probably heard this way too many times so far, but for those of you just joining or seeing this for the first time, I feel like I have to provide a little bit of a backstory. In this series, the first video was just an overview, the second video was about the Bigsby insulation, the third video was about notching the ashtray bridge to accept the Bigsby, the fourth video was about tuner upgrades, the fifth video was about stripping the neck and finishing it in nitrocellulose, the sixth video was about installing a custom decal, and the last video besides this one that I'm doing is going to be about this guy, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So please, if you haven't already, go check those videos out. Okay, all that out of the way, I'm now going to show you a little montage of me unboxing these pickups and installing them with some notes along the way. And then as promised, I'm going to show you a demonstration of a comparison between the Tex-Mex pickups and the Lambertones. Now rest assured, everything has been kept equal. I use the same signal path, my guitar going into my Helix, going into Logic, using a Worship Tutorials patch. I use the same strings and crucially I use the same pickup height. I did that by holding down the string on the last fret and measuring the distance between the top of the pickup and the bottom of the string. On the bass side it was 864 and on the treble side it was 664. And in the comparison I tried to show you both a clean or cleanish sound and a dirty sound on all the pickup positions, bridge, middle and neck. All right, roll the footage. <laughs>
that's it. Please tell me what you thought. I'm really interested in hearing what you have to say. Does the bridge pickup sound any better? Does the neck pickup sound any brighter? Does it sound more like a Strat? Am I crazy for putting such a high-end set of pickups into a budget low-end guitar? Would you do the same? Thank you so much for watching, and if you feel so inclined, you can buy me a coffee. Link is down below. We'll see you next time. I didn't stay, there was a better way the whole time. I should be here, thought a better reset to go my own way. But what was I thinking? I had no reason to trust me.